All right, guys, what is going on, guys? So right now we are, we just got the car back from the ceramic coating place. And we have, first things first, we have a 3W accessories floor mats, uh, all seasons for the front, second row, and the third row. We don't have a cargo tray as of yet. We might be looking for the trifold from from Toyota, the OEM product, but this one has really good reviews. So I picked it up way before we even got the vehicle, and here it is. Um, on the first night, uh, wifey and I installed the front the front two. It's very easy, but here we have a quick unboxing of the second row and the third row. All right, guys. So I'm gonna line up these pieces right here. I'm just gonna take them out. So you guys will get a good look at it. Uh, okay. Those. All right, so please do not worry if your floor mats get folded up during the packaging. Give your floor mats some time to lay flat and restore its resilience. If necessary, manually fix the mats in the opposite direction of the fold. So reverse the directions of the fold. Right here, it comes, wow, very bent. So remove all previously installed mats, uh, the floor, Vacuum the debris, all right, it's a clean car. Be sure to always use existing provided retention systems. All right, so, very self-explanatory. Uh, it's just, I, I don't really expect <laughs> it to bend like so. Right, but I already see, this is the bottom portion of it, so we are going to re uh, try to fold it like so. And then this is the other side of it. All right, actually, this is the other side. All right, so that's good. Um, and right here. All right, so this is the middle portion. This is the middle portion. We are going to try it right now. All right, so we have one side here. I'm assuming this goes, it fits under this car seat like so. Like that. Wow, this is very bent. But there's a retention clip right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and clip along here. All right. And then from here, I think this thing goes up like so. And I think you have to get the grooves under. So you might have to use this like that and then slip it right under the tracks. All right, so we have this lined up. We are going to Fit this one right under the tracks like so. All right, and then have this one fit under. I'm pretty sure this is this is how you do it. All right, well, you definitely need two hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that. I'm I'm having trouble fitting this part or sliding this part in. Let's see what's the problem. Um, oh, there you go. Now it's in. All right, this looks nice. All right, so here you are. If there's anything under the track. This part also has to be under the track as well. All right. All right, so let's see how this goes. Having a minivan just creates so much space. I've never been inside a, like my own personal vehicle. Just like literally just crawl inside is pretty weird. It's a pretty weird feeling. Um, but here it is. They have like all these um, tabs right here that you have to fit under the panels. So that gives you like a secure fit. Then in terms of the OEM clip, there's like a nub right here that goes into the track. But I guess for the 3W, they use these tabs right here to secure everything. So there's no clipping within this part right here. All right, so right here, give you guys a better look. So I'm gonna fit these tabs right under the track system. It's really hard to do with one hand, but you guys get the chance of it. Right, once it gets into the track system, then it's basically secure, like right here. It's under the track, so that's how you secure it. Instead of like a, the OEM one that has like a nub. All right, it 
this should be the Rebbe middle. Go ahead and just put this here. We'll get another viewpoint on the center one. Um, basically, we're gonna push this back, get as much room, and start digging. Start inserting this end right here, inserting this end like so. And once you got the hang of the outer ones, this one becomes pretty much a breeze. It's very nice, it's very satisfying to make sure that everything is slip fit. And this is way better than the carpeted mats that, uh, that comes in the 25th anniversary because this prevents all the smells, prevents all the mold from building up, you know, prevents all the funkiness from developing within all right, so we're gonna slide the seats. Whoop, what's going on there? All right, we're gonna slide the seats a little bit forward here. This thing is coming up a little bit, kind of keeping the tracks from sliding smooth. Um, but here we are. And it has like, right here you can tell, the raised edges basically covers this hump on the third row. And then for the last part, we are gonna bring this one right here. These are basically the third row. All right, what are we gonna do with this one, this piece? This piece, I think, goes over there, like that. Yep, I think, actually now it goes over here. So this piece goes, I guess, right under continuation of this piece and this piece and then it covers this part right here and then the last piece goes over there and basically that completes the 3W. Now 3W also offers a cargo area that I didn't purchase yet because I'm looking to see if the tri-fold mat will give me coverage here along with coverage here and when the third row is down give me a good spot to prevent the third row from flopping around. Here we have the last set, which should fit like a glove right about here. So we're gonna put this under like so, and then finish off everything. All right guys, so that is basically the coverage. I hope this video was helpful. I think it's very, very, very well made. Very impressed with the quality and the fitment especially. You see that it slides within the tracks. Very well fitted, secure. It's a, like kind of a whole U-shaped piece, right? Versus, and then here's the front. The coverage goes all the way up there. It doesn't cover the, the carpeted mat on the side, but it covers up all the way. Leaves a little bit of carpet here. Versus the OEM floor mats the carpeted ones, which is kind of like multi-piece, right? Multi-piece, and from here, these are gonna go ahead and start smelling very funky in the, in the future, of course, right? So definitely, especially in the future when possible accidents, even throw up, this might be the key. Now, why did I pick this versus the tux mats? These have really good reviews, they're much cheaper. Tux mats looks way nicer in my opinion, but these aren't half bad. I use tux mats with my old Golf R. I use them with the my, my father's Volvo. And I was highly considering tux mats here, but overall tux mats are just kind of harder to clean because they they use a tab system. And from here, you all you can do is kind of use a microfiber to wipe it versus these. You can just twist them in and then remove them and then wash them off. Same goes with this, but it's kind of, it's. It's tedious to put it in, but I don't think it's as tedious to use or to install as tux mats. But from here, I definitely have a lot of respect and loyalty to tux mats. But for this particular minivan right here, we're going with the 3W. So here it is, 3W. Way definitely recommend. I'm going to go ahead and just use the box to store everything. Uh, they have uh, separate versions for the 8-seater and 7-seater. This is for the 7-seater. I will go ahead and consider their 3W cargo mat if the tri-fold doesn't allow me to fold. The OEM tri-fold Toyota mats, 
if they don't allow me to fold the seats down, then I'm, I'm gonna have to go for the 3W cargo mat as well to kind of complete the look. Now in terms of accessibility, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these seats down like so. And then, how do you do this? You slide this all the way back, super long slide feature. Doesn't grab onto the seats. Slide them all the way forward. Doesn't grab onto it. Well, actually it grabs on just a little bit. You hear the noise, right? Uh, it grabs on a little bit right there. But I think over time, it's gonna go ahead and correct itself and reverse. Cause when we took it out, it was kind of like a bent. So over time, it's gonna go ahead and work its way back out. But that's it. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, this is the first of many modifications for not even the Golf R dad anymore, but uh, the Toyota Sienna dad. Um, it's, it's way different completing these videos, but it's, it's fun. It's definitely fun. It gives me something uh, to do and for sure. I gotta get back up to the girls, so I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.